Hello again, everyone. Not the alligator back again. Um, recording quality is going to be a bit down. I broke my uh, the normal phone that I record on, so now we're on the tablet that I use to fly with. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to get. Uh, there's a guy selling these uh, Lex L10s on eBay for about 200 bucks to 150 bucks, depending on where you see them. But they're usually pretty cheap. Uh, we're going to be talking on how to get it paired to an Apex. So, first off, what you're going to need to do is grab yourself a license for um, LTE Radio Management or LTE RM. Um, I'll have the product code that you need to go on to, uh, you know, MOL or, or store.motorolasolutions.com and type in and then subscribe to. It's free, surprisingly, and lasts for about three years. Um, it works with the L10, L11, basically all the Lexus, and then the SI500. Um, so yeah. And then you need to get yourself this bad boy right here. This is the magic to getting it all working. Um, most of these Lexus have been factory reset, and that wipes out all of the PSX stuff. That includes PSX cockpit. Radio services will still be there, but it will show as disabled until... You get this installed. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get RM installed as usual. Um, it has to be done on Windows and then whenever you use, um, shoot, what is it? It's like RM something or another. Uh, RM link or something on the Lex. So, yeah, let me pop it open real quick. Yeah, there you go. RM link. Basically it's going to look like this. Um, you just get RM link popped open and then once you get uh, radio management all booted up, you have to disable the Windows firewall um, for this to work. It's I don't know why it requires it, but it's weird. I've tried manually passing through the ports at once, doesn't work. So you gotta completely disable Windows firewall only whenever you're reading and writing, which you don't need to do often. So then you're gonna open up uh, RM uh, configuration client. Give it a second. There we go. Um, if you have it set up like I do, it should automatically read or write. If not, just go ahead, hit add. You know, select which version of the Lex it is. And then, yeah. So basically, if we go in here, we say it's a L10 or no, L11. Put that in, serial number, and then do a read job. So you just do that by going into here, and I'll select configuration, that is the wrong box. Schedule job, and read. Uh, it won't pop up this, this is just because I was playing around with something else. It will then try and schedule, oops, sorry for the shaky cam, this thing is large. We'll go in here, schedule job, and then it will Take, it'll take a few minutes, but it'll it'll run. Um, you have to have RM Link open on the Lex while it does this. It'll discover the device. It'll read all the configuration off of it, which should be basically blank. But while it's doing that, you need to go over here to Gear Icon, Manage, Apps, and then Import. Select a PSX cockpit. It'll then show in here. Go back over here to the radio icon. Enable Wi Fi and the Lex. Make sure it's on the say network. Uh, that's the wrong button. Right click anywhere on this line and hit select. And then apps. It won't let me do it because it's trying to get do a read job, but then you'd go in there, you'd see, uh, you'd basically see, it should say, and it will call them over here. Oh, hang on, actually, maybe I'll show you. There you go. So I just opened up uh, RM link, and it's starting to go through all the steps. It's not processing. And these boxes should go out in a second. There we go. So now I can go in here, select apps 
and then you'd see you got here somewhere there we go you see PSX PSX cockpit basically over here you then hit add it'll then show up in this box scroll down if you don't ha if you yeah if you don't have a bunch of apps like I do already installed it shouldn't do this but if you do just scroll down hit OK and then go over here schedule job and then write hit OK make sure PSX link is open it'll go through all the steps then once that's done we open it up on here there we go basically then go in here find PSX cockpit open her up it'll ask for all this information that you won't have unless you have a PSX subscription go in here select PTT routing mode switch from wave to radio hit OK and now if you open up radio services everything works and uh, yep, PTT and everything that's embarrassing hang on there we go. If I didn't have it, I had it connected and uh, swept the mode, so that's probably it. Hang on, give it a second. These uh, L, these L10s are there. There we go. If you wonder why mine has the long tone like that, it's because it does. Uh, and channel two. Now the audio comes out of this. There you go. So yeah, now all the audio and stuff comes out of here. Uh, you can now just leave this in a bag or something. And it's a uh, Bluetooth RSM for cheap. Like uh, about 200 bucks to 150. I got this for 50, so. <laughs> you can get these for real cheap compared to uh, what the actual Bluetooth RSMs go for. And you know, you can just go through here you know, basically select, uh, you know, zones and such. You can do favorites. Uh, if you want to hold this up like you would a uh, phone call, just select it over here to phone call and then just hold it up, talk talk like you would like a normal phone call. So, uh, I don't know if it will let me show this, but also have all select status bar, hit that box over there. You know, I can enable encryption, scan, low power, direct, all the fun stuff from right over here. You get your radio battery, and if you're on a trunking system, you'll get the RSSI value right there. And uh, yeah, no, it just just works. Uh, you do have to pair this first. Um, you need to do blue dot pairing, or you can just do it manually from Bluetooth menu, and it will uh, work just as normal. So uh, yeah, there you go. I'll uh, post all the stuff. Well, most of the stuff that I, all the stuff I can post. I will post uh, in the description below. So uh, see you guys around. Out.